It is Labor Day in the United States and in Canada, so it's a good time to examine the state of labor in Major League Sports in both countries, specifically Major League Baseball, the National Football League, the National Hockey League, the National Basketball Association, and Major League Soccer. Two collective bargaining agreements were reached in 2016. Major League Baseball owners and players signed the deal following the completion of the final game of the World Series. Unlike the 1970s and 1980s and 1990s and even 2002, all is good in the baseball front as the industry is stuffed with money. The various deals that brought revenue sharing to the 30 teams works for the owners and the players. That's why there has been labor peace since 1995. A new National Basketball Association agreement between the players and the owners was also signed. NBA players are pulling down incredible sums of money. There will be labor peace for years in those sports. Meanwhile, there are some warning signs that there might be problems ahead for the National Football League and the National Hockey League. The NFLPA is warning about sports labor strife and is urging NFL players to start saving their money for a lockout. A lockout that might occur in 2021, which means there are four seasons left on the CBA and most players in the league that are playing right now won't be around for that labor battle. To put it in perspective, a high school senior playing football this year could be impacted. Meanwhile, the National Hockey League Players Association is upset with NHL owners and Commissioner Gary Bettman, who blocked the players for competing for their countries in the 2018 South Korea Winter Olympics. Although that event might be impacted by the rising tensions between the United States and North Korea. The present NHL deal ends in 2022. I'm Evan Weiner for the politics of sports business.